Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to share my 10 designer shoe collection. I have 10 pairs to show you in different categories. So I'll start off with flats, then move on to heels, and then end off with some boots. I just wanted to mention that this is not intended to be a bragging video. I am very proud of all of the things that I own and have worked hard to acquire them. I just want to be able to share uh, my thoughts on some of these items and see if anybody had any questions on some of the items that I own in hopes that I can help share some of the knowledge and experience that I have to help others out in the community. I'll go straight into the flats that I have. Uh, the first pair that I want to show you are these. These are the Aquazura Christie mm, flats. I consider them flats. These were all the rage uh, in 2016, I want to say, when they first came out with the lace-ups. And um, I could, I kept seeing them everywhere. I just wanted to add them to my collection. I thought they would look gorgeous with like shorts and dresses and things like that, and they do. Those are very comfortable, but I did get a 38 and a half. So I'm a true size eight and just wanted to let you know that that was the 38 and a half. I got them a little bit larger so the front toe box wouldn't be so tight and they, and they seem to be just fine for me. There was no break-in period, no blisters really, I just love them. If you go to the airport frequently, because I do for work, uh, they do not ring the metal detector if you need to run through them. Uh, the next pair of flats that I have to show, are, these are technically sandals, um, but these are my Hermes Oren sandals, or slippers if you even want to call them. I got these in 2017 at the Charles de Gaulle Paris airport. Um, if you saw my Hermes collection video, then you would have seen them there as well. These are in a metallic silver, I believe in Epsom leather, and they have a little black uh, footbed here, which I love as well. I got these in a size 39, just for reference. Those are really comfortable, had no break-in period, I absolutely love those and think they're worth every penny. The last pair of flats and the most recent shoe purchase that I have made are these. These are my Roger Vivier Bell flats. I got these in a 37 and a half. So these are actually size seven and a half, uh, but they fit me perfectly. There was a very little bit, like one day break in period where I got some blisters on the heels a little bit um, but they are the most comfortable pair of flats that I own I typically don't wear flats um, you'll see that my collection is more heavily heels because I find them to be more comfortable than flats but these are absolutely comfortable they are so worth it and they look so pretty on the feet I cannot stress enough I got these in the black patent if you can see um, which is really durable really great for wet weather outside which we've been getting a lot in New York so these have been perfect for that and you can just kind of wipe it off and they're good to go um, these are not ballet flat styles though I don't I, I don't work very well on those styles. so these have a little bit of a heel I'm trying to show you if you can see like right there um, but best flats I think these are absolutely wonderful and I look forward to adding more to my collection the next category are kitten heels I really wanted to get a few, or I have a couple, um, for work purposes mostly. Wanted to add some really classic pieces to my collection so that I can have them forever. Uh, the first pair that I got were in 2014, and these are the really classic Ferragamo Vera pumps. So they have the little tiny heel there. I got these in a seven and a half per recommendation from the sales associate. Um, he insisted that the seven and a half would be a better size for me because the eight would stretch out to be too large. Uh, while that has worked beautifully with my Roger Vivier flats that I just showed, um, these are not as comfortable and I think it's because they are seven and a half. I think they look really beautiful on the feet and they work really well for, for work wear or business wear. But um, every time I wear them, I feel like I'm going through that initial stretching period again and it just 
makes my feet hurt that I don't lean towards these as much. I think if I got an eight, I would be wearing them a little more often than I do now. But that's that. I still like that having them in my collection. And who knows, my feet might shrink as I get a little older and they might fit perfectly then as well. The other pair of kitten heels that I have are these Chanel Slingbacks in metallic silver. And if you watched my Chanel collection video, then you would have seen these there. And you can see how much I've worn them. Um, these I got in 2016, I believe. I got these in a 38 and a half. The 38 and a half fit me really well. And I would recommend sizing up at least a tiny bit um, when you're going for Chanel shoes. The next category are heels. And I prefer heels over flats typically. They seem to be more comfortable for me, which is why you'll see a few more heels pair of shoes now. Um, and I do have some others that are not necessarily such high-end designer that I typically wear for work. So my go-to footwear are often like Stuart Weitzman classic pumps um, or Cole Haan like court shoes to wear for work. And I, I typically wear heels. but. These three heels are really special for me, and I wanted to share them. They're my more designer pair of heels that I have. The first pair to share are these Saint Laurent. Um, I got these in 2014, and they are the classic Janice pump. So it's the platform heel with like pretty much four inch heel here, and. Uh, but they're Mary Jane style, so there's a strap going across here. I hope you can see that. Um, and these are just a really, really pretty pair of shoes, and they're really classic. I was ecstatic when I found them at the Neiman Marcus Woodbury outlet. So I got them for a great price. And they were in my size these are 38 and a half so I figured you know these are these are something that I can have in my collection forever so that's when I acquired these guys I am 5'6 though um, I still wear heels regardless I don't really care that I get very tall even after I wear heels but um, nowadays I kind of messed up my ankle um, snowboarding so it's harder for me to wear such high heels like four inch heels so I typically stay at about three now so those I definitely keep though for more special occasion shoes um, they're great for holiday parties um, or weddings and things like that so they're definitely my go-to event shoe then in 2015 I purchased these these are also Saint Laurent aren't they fun um, they're in this like heart pattern if you can see and this beautiful beautiful pink color um, and also found these uh, a year later at the Neiman Marcus outlet at Woodbury and snagged these for a really great price again um, these are actually size 38 which fit me really well these are the Paris pumps I believe that's what the style is called these also have like a hundred millimeter or a four inch heel um, so these are also more occasion wear so I can wear these out like date night or um, if I know you know I'm going out for like a dinner or someplace where I don't have to stand or walk for too long then I can definitely wear these for that and these also look really pretty on the feet uh, and they're just they're just really nice I just I love St. Laurent shoes and then the last pair another fun pair that I just wanted to share these aren't as as high-end designer but these are really comfortable so I wanted to share these are Acne Studios and uh, there are these pumps with like the crinkle foil in the front. It's in a black and blue combination. I believe these are called Andrea Caesar pumps. Yep. And these have a much more manageable like three inch heel. So these are really, really, really comfortable. And um, if you're looking for some really pretty shoes to wear for work, I highly recommend these. They're they're not too flashy, um, and they're, they just go with a lot of workwear and um, still have a pretty heel. So I would highly, highly recommend these if you're looking for some shoes for work. I got these in a 39, which I think is actually a little bit big for me. Um, but 
I still wear them. If I really need to, I can put a, a thing in the back to help. It's not that my foot slips out, but I can feel that they're slightly big, so probably 38 and a half would have been better for me. But regardless, I still love these and I wear them a ton. The last category are boots. I know we're heading into spring, so boots are probably gonna get phased out, but they're one of my favorite type of shoe. Uh, so I have a couple pairs that I really wanted to highlight today. Uh, the first are these. These are from Acne Studios. These are actually my first pair of Acne shoes that I got. Um, I got these in a size 39. That's why I ended up getting the heels in a 39, but I think because these are boots, um, the bigger size works better for me. So these are called, I wrote it down, these are called the track boots. I got these from net a -Porte, net <laughs> when they had a sale going on, so I got them on sale. I think these are a great pair of more casual looking boots, um, but they're still black, classic. Um, the platform adds some comfort and the heel height isn't too, too high, but you undo the pop there and you zip them down to put them on and I think they're really comfortable, didn't really have a break-in period and these are just really, really nice and sturdy boots. The most, more recent acquisition in terms of boots are these right here. These are a pair of Jimmy Choo. I think they're called the Tallulah boot. Uh, it looks like a pretty classic Chelsea style with this like stretchy back, uh, but some killer heel height, which I thought was gorgeous. This is more like a four inch heel again. Um, also has like a half inch platform up front. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it's just in a grained leather. These are actually also really, really comfortable. Um, I got these in a 39. I tend to size up a tiny bit in my boots. Um, but I got these in a 39. They're surprisingly comfortable. I heard that Jimmy Choo's might not be the most comfortable pair of shoes on the planet, but I was pleasantly surprised by these. These look great with everything. If you wear these with skinny jeans, they make you look like you have like legs for days. Uh, you can wear them with jeans, like I wear them with slightly baggier jeans, and they, they jazz up that outfit really well. Um, I also wear these for work. I can wear them with tights in the winter or without tights if you wanted to. Um, and I wear them with dresses a lot of times, and they look awesome. So I would really, really go for these. Um, if you can. I got these at Nordstrom Rack though, um, so I also got those with a great discount, um, so I thought it was a great find to add to my collection. So that's everything. Those are my 10 designer shoes that I have in my collection. I am very excited about all the shoes that I have. Let me know if you had a favorite pair. I'd like to hear what your thoughts on, or if you have any of the pairs that I have. I'd also be curious to hear what you have to say about them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below or let me know on Instagram. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. And if you like this video, also let me know. I plan to post videos every Sunday. And so until next time, bye.